Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. So, the car today, 2008 Citroën C4 Picasso, and I believe this is the 2 liter diesel, 140 brake horsepower, I believe, uh, with the semi auto gearbox or automatic gearbox, whatever you want to call it. Right, uh, and the issue with this car is actually the gearbox. Uh, so the car so basically let me see if the problem happens turn the ignition on oh crap hold on because like yep let me see if it happens uh come on i saw you doing it so don't let me down now come on Hmm, will that be because he's in... Ah, there we go. Okay, so, service is the first thing in there, which it can be down to anything. But, let me see if it comes up with the other fault, fuel level low, as always. Let me see if it comes up. There we go. So that's the fault. Gearbox faulty. However, the guy reckons the car drives absolutely fine on the road. Let me see if the gears engage fine. They they do. So reverse. You can see in there. Neutral. Drive. Manual. Park. Reverse. Yeah? The cages in gear, absolutely fine. He said to me he drives absolutely fine, uh, but it comes up with that gearbox faulty. So let's plug the maxi seats in and see why it's causing that. First thing, quite interesting there is no power on the OBD port. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna be spiking my J box. So I've connected my brake box, OBD2 brake box. So that should light up and tell me the voltage uh, once I have voltage there. So let's uh, start with the basics, check fuses, blah, 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 blah. Okay guys, so there's two fuses apparently for the box. One is this one here for the OBD port. And I wanted to look at the state of this fuse. Look at the inside, full of corrosion. Look at the air. That sort of... Uh... Come on, focus. Look at that. See that? And the inside of the fuser, although it looks champed, look, it's full of corrosion as well. But I'm now wondering how those pins are going to be in there, where the blade goes. So it's now looking famous. Let me replace the fuse and see what happens. Just in case, let me. I have to clean the blades a little bit. Oops, the other one just gone on the floor. Let's see if we have voltage now. And now we still have no voltage. So, ow. Oh, am I gonna get corroded wires in there because of the battery, like the normal Picasso problem? Mmm. Okay, this is now looking good. Okay, and uh, as I was checking all the fuses, when I removed, so that one is okay, that one is okay. This one was absolutely stuck in, and when I pulled it out, this is definitely gone. So, I don't know what that fuse is for, but another one completely stuck. Wow, this is bad. And that's another one gone. Wow. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to dismantle that in there because even if I replace that, it's all corroded and uh, it's, there's no point to just put new fuses. So we're gonna possibly dismantle all that, clean everything, and go from there, really. And uh, let me figure out what these fuses are for because I don't know what they are for. Okay, guys, so I'm actually checking it through the 
handbook, why not? So, right here at the back we have stud, stud, and the first fuse is free. Let me show it like that. So the first fuse was empty. Second fuse was a 5 amp, 5 amp, 15 amp, which was all corroded, but I have voltage on both ends of the fuse. So unless it's the afterwards, 5 and 20. So these first two are burned, as we have seen. They are there. And look at this, so. Studs, studs, so stud, stud, it's not even fuse. Free, which coincides, the first one was free. And then he tells me the first one should be automatic gearbox actuator NDCU, 5 amp, burned. Second one should be actually a 15 amp, which is actually a 5 amp in there. Then the next one was ECU 6 speed, okay then, so I got this wrong anyway. Wow, I got this wrong. So, the fuse I've actually touched, that fuse was not the socket was that, that one in there, which was burned, and it should be a 15 amp diagnostic socket, when it was actually a 5 amp in there, and that one is for the automatic gearbox and actuator, 5 amp and it's burned. Okay, so I got this wrong, so if, when I put a fuse in there, I should get power to my OBD2 uh, socket, but let's clean this first, um, and make sure we have a good contact, new fuses, and then see what happens. Is this going to be just a fuse problem? Hmm. Okay, let's gonna clean this. So I pulled this out of there. What I'm using here, guys, to clean this is a. Uh, I'll show you in a second. I'll put a link in the description below, guys, for you. If you want to buy this stuff, but this is it's this soft diamond, sorry, this sort of diamond coated sort of stencils, kind of. So you can buy them like this. That's a as a kit. They're very good to clean contacts, pins, and all that stuff because they are coated on the inside and on the outside. So no advertising here, but. It's a nice thing to have. So let's. Actually, guys, I'm gonna do something here because they were all the same. So let's clean them all rather than just. Let's clean them all and. Uh... in the middle like that Now, let me see how these blades are. Okay, I think these fuses, except the one I put in, now this one is good. This 20 is already a little bit corroded on the inside, so we'll replace that one as well. And these ones, I'll just clean the blades and that's it. Okay guys, and what we'll do now, before we put the fuses in, we'll put a little bit of WD-40, uh, that should hopefully help to keep moisture a little bit away okay let's put so a new 20 amp fuse and the 5 amp 15 amp just down in there now, 5 amp, the first one that was burned, let's see if it doesn't burn, we'll take it out, nope, still good, 
Now the next one. Let's see if it doesn't burn. Come on. Okay, it didn't burn just just by putting it in, which is a good sign. Let's see if we have voltage in there. Voltage, 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 voltage. Okay, so these ones they don't have the test points, but they are good, so they were good earlier. So we're just gonna leave it there and let's gonna try. And immediately look at that. There's a little bit of glare. We have voltage, so I should be able to scan the car now. But most importantly, will that fuse that was uh, rated? Uh, actually, I've done. Okay, so for the OBD port was say 15. I left the five just in case. But will the other one that was um, uh, marked for the gearbox will that be my problem on the gearbox? Let's check it. Okay, let's connect the Maxis now. We'll. I have the box here connected, so I'm gonna leave it. There we go. Now we have the J box powering, powering hub. Okay, let's see now what happens. So, let's turn the ignition on or start the car maybe. Let's see what happens. So, my service light is. Well, I have loads of lights now on the dash, no? Yes, I do. Okay, so I have all these lights. Were they here before? I can't remember now. Okay. Okay, so we have plenty of faults now. For a lot of stuff. That was not here before. But will my gearbox fault comes back? Handbrake fault, that was not there before. It could have been because of the fuse being removed, although I had the ignition off and all that stuff, but. So, okay, that's fine. ESP and ASR. Let's wait for the gearbox. It looks like it was after the fuel level low, so let's see if it comes back. Hopefully, no. Obviously, I still have to go and check the fuses, see if any fuse is burned. Because if it did, then that means we have a problem somewhere down the line. But so far... Well, looks like it's good. Let me cycle through the gears. What was that? Oh, now in park, that's fine. Okay. No gearbox faults. Hmm, that's good. Well, we have a lot of plenty of faults now, but let's um, let's scan the car and see what we have in there. Okay, guys, let me try to do something here. So I've just turned the car off just before we scan it. Let me start again and see if any of the faults would have gone because sometimes. And uh, there we go. You see. So that was just the first. Okay, so that's really good. Still, we're gonna scan the car, obviously, but look at that. Not even the service light. Okay, so the gearbox would come after this. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Bingo. I think we got it. I think we got it. Look at that. Look at that. Still, let's go and scan the car. Okay, I'm letting it go through an auto scan, as you can see. So we're gonna let him to finish the scan, and then we'll see what we have in there. We'll clear the codes and see what's come, what comes back. But look, still running. My service light didn't come on. Neither my gearbox fault. So it looks like the only issue was that. So I believe that fuse that powers the gearbox there's more than one power feed into there uh, and obviously obviously that's because it's, it's scanning you don't need to worry about that uh, but yeah so it looks like the the gearbox issue will have more than one power feed and one of the power feed but the other power feeds would be still okay 
to run the car but obviously this you would you would detect that as an issue so and the other fuse was for the for the obd socket don't know if it powers anything else uh, on the handbook it doesn't say as it powers anything else but uh, yeah it's looking good it looks like we sort the problem really quick uh, but yeah okay scan just finished uh, 28 modules the only modules with faults is automatic gearbox engine relay obsm parking brake and the inflation abs gearbox again injection and bsi let's let me turn it off because usually it's better to clear codes ignition on let's erase the codes and see what comes back Okay, and it just finished, and I know there's one module that came back with a fault. BSI. Let's see what the BSI tell us. If there's anything that we need to worry about, or if not. Come on. Okay, let's do that off on again okay that's okay travel codes illumination of the real light hand brake lamp let's go and have a look press the brake pedal that one is on that one is off so it's not wrong I will get that uh, bulb replaced as a courtesy and I think we resolve the issue. So why did that burn? To be honest with you I don't even think that fuse actually burned. It looks like that corrosion just went through the inside as you've seen on that 20 amp and it started to corrode the, the jump, the fuse element and it got to a point where the element got that weak that it, it just burned because it couldn't take the load anymore. It looks like that's what happened. So we cleaned, put new fuses in there, uh, replaced the other 21, the, the other 20 amp that was already start to get corrosion as well. And we sort the problem. So in the end, guys, two fuses. That simple. Um, replace the fuses only, wouldn't be that good. As I said, clean. Make sure you get the corrosion out of there, um, as we did. Lubricate a little bit so it keeps moisture out of the way. Uh, but yeah, quite happy with the result, guys. How simple this was. Anyone can do it. Guys, hope there's some information here still. Uh, maybe the thinking process, how we got there and all that stuff. Hope there's some information here you guys are going to find useful. Uh, if you do have any questions, any comments, please put them below. And like always, thank you for watching.